Hi guys, welcome, my name is Lena and for today's video I'm gonna be styling one of ongoing trends baseball hat. By the way, if you want to know all about spring 2020 trends that are going to be huge, you can check out this video right here. There I'm talking about all the trends that we're going to see a lot and that we can implement in our wardrobe. So today's video about baseball hats. The very first baseball hats were worn in New York back in 1949 and they were made of straw. Until 1954, baseball players could pick any kind of hat they wanted just to keep the sun out of their eyes. And that was pretty much where it all started. The cap, as we know it today, began to take shape around the turn of the last century. Back then, they were solely worn by professional baseball players. And while the look of the baseball caps hasn't changed significantly since the 90s, 50s, attitude towards it has. With the big help of TV and music clips in 80s, 90s, early 2000s, baseball hats made their transition from the sport field to street fashion. And nowadays it's even not worth to show reliability to the working class. A great example of it could be a Princess Diana. Nowadays it really can be worn as a fashion statement itself. All major fashion houses have the baseball hats in their collection. And in 2021 we used to have baseball hat as one of the hottest trends. The memorable moment for the baseball hats last year definitely was at Spring Summer 21 Celine fashion show. The show for sure made a big impact on growing popularity of this trend. And since then, you've seen it all over the internet. Baseball hats was extremely popular last year and it's still going to be a thing this year. So let's see how we can fit it into our everyday casual and chic outfits to not fall into pure sport and definitely guys don't forget to subscribe it really helps out with youtube algorithm and i really appreciate your support so push the subscribe button if you still didn't and let's start with the outfits I rarely do outfits with skirts, so I think the new year is the best time to switch things up a little. So the first outfit in today's video turned out pretty feminine but edgy at the same time because I'm wearing skirt and also I'm accentuating the waist so it's clearly super feminine elements but I have a lot of structure in the blazer and I'm wearing chunky boots and also little accessories like the baseball hat itself and I'm wearing a little fanny pack on my waist also make this outfit much more interesting looking. The next outfit once again with an oversized blazer but here we mix it with leather pants, we have loose fitted clothes and sneakers but we're still adding some structure to it with the blazers. So this one is pretty casual, it's really something that I would wear when I want to be put together but still comfy and adding a baseball hat here makes it even less formal looking. The next outfit could feel like a sports style at first because we have a sweatsuit, baseball hat and sneakers but I'm adding a pretty classic element to it, a trench coat and trench coat kind of pull this outfit off the pure sport makes it more casual and little feminine bag helps as well The next outfit we can easily fit a baseball hat in is just classic combo, blue jeans and leather jacket. I'm adding heels here, I'm wearing the ankle boots with a square toe because I'm wearing long wide leg jeans but with a straight and shorter jeans any flats will work here as well. And as a first layer I'm wearing a black tank top here but it also can be any base top or a t-shirt or even a long sleeve. I just cannot do a styling video and not do the outfit with a classic suit. Adding a baseball hat to it once again, just making it less formal. And I also picked up the bag that will complement the baseball hat color, which is nice and just helping to spice up this black monochrome here. For boots here, it can be almost any flats, it can be ankle boots, sneakers. I'm wearing my Doc Martens, for example. 
The next outfit is more classic with a long wool coat. As you can see, I'm wearing the white button up over a turtleneck. It's the one of the styling tricks that I was telling you about in my last winter formalist video. If you still didn't see it, definitely go and check it out. And once again, though, it's pretty classy, minimalistic looking. Baseball hat here, especially in some bright and trending color, helps to make this outfit more interesting and not overload the look because we have a lot of layering going on here the next outfit we have here will be with the hoodie and the jeans it's better for hoodie here to be oversized kind of like a mini dress as you can see mine is a little bit too small for this but i just wanted to give an idea and once again as usual to make an interesting fit we can play on contrasts so to this pretty loose fitted and super casual pieces like hoodie and baseball hat i'm adding extra feminine things as you can see here it's heels and a little patent leather clutch bag i think this fit is nice for the days when you want to be super comfy you want to wear your favorite hoodie but still want to be dressed up a little so for these days you definitely can try this one out For the next outfit, I try playing with the new skirt over pants trend. It's something new for me, so I'm still trying to figure this out, but I still think it turned out pretty cute. Let me know what you guys think about this new trend, and I'm just really excited to play with it more in the future and see how it goes. And for the last baseball hat outfit idea, I wanted to style classic silk slip dress. I decided to pair it with a trench coat you've seen before today and the chunky boots. I'm also adding some feminine bag and since the baseball hat is green, I thought it would be nice to add some pop of color in the outfit as well. So I'm wearing a green socks that stick out of the boots as you can see. Super subtle but nice finishing touch. And yeah, here the final look for today. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I really hope it was helpful and definitely let me know in the comments what do you want me to style next. I hope you will have an amazing week and I'll see you in the next one.